Hi, I'm Don Thompson, real estate broker with the Pioneer Group, and we're here again today to talk about appraisals and how they affect you while you're applying for your loan. And once again, I've uh, asked my friend Jason in. Uh, Jason, uh, also known as the Mortgage Machine, Jason Jean. Uh, welcome, Jay. Thanks, Don. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Another great day? It always is. It always is, right? Okay, Jason's an expert in this field, and uh, we're going to share with you a little bit of information today about the appraisal and the appraisal process. Uh, so, Jay? Okay, so appraisals. Uh, first of all, when are you going to get an appraisal? And the answer is, anytime you take out a mortgage, uh, typically you're going to have to order and pay for an appraisal. The bank is required to order it. It's a random process now. You can't select your own appraiser. Uh, but uh, when you fill out a mortgage application, the bank is going to say, okay, we need an appraisal done. Um, what is an appraisal for? It's, for? it's for the bank to make sure that you are uh, paying um, the right amount for that property. Uh, so it, it's kind of a, in an effort to prevent any fraudulent activity. So if, the, if you're going to pay $200,000 for a $100,000 house, the bank doesn't, certainly doesn't want to lend on, you know, that much on that property. Uh, so they're going to be looking for the value, make sure that the value is there. Um, the second thing that they're going to look at is the condition of the property. Uh, it is n by no means a home ins inspection, and you don't want to use that uh, as one. Uh, but they do, you know, kind of they look at certain things, and it depends on the mortgage program and type that they would actually say this this house does meet the minimum criteria or it does not meet the minimum criteria. Um, and the way that they look at these issues is they, they look at comparable properties. So they look to make sure that um, this house is kind of standard uh, for this region and that there are other things, other, other uh, properties on the market that are somewhat similar, don't have to be exact, but somewhat similar um, to this particular property, um, you, you know, whereas in the New England region, sometimes it's very difficult um, with really, really unique homes. Like, the, you know, we're seeing sometimes the geodesic uh, homes uh, in many areas, the log homes, where there's only one in, you know, in a 50-mile radius, and they're very difficult to comp out, so they're going to be difficult to finance. Um, but they're also going to look at, you know, if you're buying a three-bedroom, two-bath, they're going to want to try to compare it to a, another three-bedroom, two-bath, or a three-bedroom, one-bath with a slight, you know, monetary adjustment for the extra bath, those types of things. Um, so now, if the value does not meet the sale price, then what we do as a lender, we say, whoa, we've got a problem. Let's go back to the expert in negotiations. We'll hand it back over to Don Thompson and say, Don, take the ball and run with it. What are we going to do here? So, Don, can you explain a little bit about what we do? All right, good question, Jason, because what will happen is the appraisal doesn't come in. All right, a couple of things. Either the value's not there or there's what could be some conditions. The conditions are typically physical conditions on the property. Mostly they're obvious safety conditions or physical deficiencies in the property that the bank may have a problem on because they don't want to land on a property that's going to fall down, all right, because that's their collateral. So they're looking to protect their interest by ordering this appraisal. So if the appraisal doesn't come in, uh, and basically the lender will only lend on the lower of the purchase price or the appraisal. So whatever number is lower, that's the number they're going to base their loan on. So now it comes in low, what do we do? We got three choices. We can walk from the deal, we can try and negotiate with the seller to low their, lower their price to the appraised value, or you can come up with more cash. Basically, if you really want this property and the seller is not willing to come down on the purchase price, they can really come in with more money, mm -hmm. which, but the reality is how often are you going to pay more than something's worth? I mean, really. I mean, okay, it's worth 200 and he want, and the seller wants 225 you got to want that property pretty bad to pay more than it's worth. So typically what will happen is we'll try and negotiate the price down. Seller is not required to drop the price based on the appraisal, just so you know. And just to say, Jay, appraisals are as much an art as they are a science. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can we can order appraisals from three different people and get three different values on the property. 
It's a, would, yeah. You know, it's as much a science as uh, I'm not sorry, an art as it is a science. It's not. A, it's not 100. percent Now, what I will tell you is that your agent should be telling you whether this is going to be close or not. Is this a good price or not a good price up front? I mean, typically when we're out working with our clients, uh, I'm giving them an indication that there may be a problem with the appraisal because we're paying all the money. And you may want to pay all the money. And especially in a market that's a seller's market where people are pressing the prices and, you know, you've lost a few and you're trying to get one. Sometimes you're a little bit more anxious to buy. So uh, it can happen. But you want to make sure that you're, you're, and the bank is protecting their pot. Bottom line, and I guess they're protecting yours kind of backwards here, but they're protecting their bonds. They don't want to loan money on, and you get it, I get it. They don't want to loan money on the value that's not there. So if it doesn't happen, uh, what you want to do is just work with your realtor and your lender to see if we can get it uh, done, okay? Well, condition, Don. You Conditions, said condition. all right. What happens if something comes up, and, and I, I, we see a lot with some of the government type of loans, it says, okay, there's chipping paint on the windowsill and the garage door, and All right. there's a missing handrail going into the basement. What do you do then? Well, basically, again, we got to renegotiate with the seller to get that stuff done. All right? It's got to be done. There's no ands, if, or buts. If the bank says, if the appraiser says this has got to be done in order for that to happen, it's got to be done. So I've seen where the sellers have done it. I've seen where the buyers have done it, gone in and done the work for it. Mm-hmm. Typically, for the right kind of loan program, if you know that ahead of time, we should be negotiating those things up front. If I know that you've got a government loan, and I know with government loans there's there's peeling paint's a problem, then we should be negotiating to get that peeling paint uh, done up front. Then it's not an issue. I mean, I like to get that stuff done up front so it's not an issue at the end. Me too. All right? Okay. Anything else? Thank you said it. Thank you so much for coming back in today. Uh, so again, so for more information about the home buying and mortgage process, please visit our websites below. Also, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. To your success, this is Don Thompson, real estate broker with the Pioneer Group. Have a great day.